Beneath the ocean's surface is a whole other beautiful world teeming with life. Some lucky people have the chance to jump into the water and swim, snorkel, and dive with the creatures of the sea. Most of us land-dwelling humans rarely have the opportunity to see the wonders of the sea. There are special places where us land-dwelling people can go visit and meet face-to-face -face the fascinating and awe-inspiring animals of the sea. The two of us had the opportunity to visit the Oregon Coast Aquarium in Newport, Oregon. We had a special day appreciating and learning about the animals and creatures who live in the beautiful and vast blue world of planet Earth. Oregon Coast Aquarium where it is delightful to see what you might see if you were under the sea. So on this drizzly day in Newport, Oregon, we're about to go take you on an adventure to see the Oregon Coast Aquarium. Let's go. So a little moment about the dark side of the sea is the trash. Here's an example here at the aquarium where they have put together trash collage that was collected in only two hours time from South Beach, south of Newport here. And this was in, what did they say, 2011. So that was even no, before. Before 2011, Japanese tsunami. Before happen. that. So this was just, just what was happening. Um, before that so it's really 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 important that we work with our um, what trash we are use um, making and make sure that it's deposited carefully and make sure that it does not end up in our oceans do not have the opportunity to hop into the ocean ourselves to discover and meet the amazing creatures who call it home, though most of us can watch video footage and gaze at photographs of the undersea world. Resources and opportunities abound to learn about the world's oceans and the undersea life. No matter where we live or what we do, we can all learn about the oceans and animals and plants who live in the ocean. The more we all learn about the oceans, the more we all realize how connected our land lives are to the lives of the creatures who depend upon healthy oceans. Infinite wonderments abound in our world's oceans. 
It is fun to learn about the oceans and how connected we are to the oceans, no matter how far away we live from the oceans. There's halibuts here in the sand. Wow. Halibuts are so cool. They're morphing fish. Halibut are a wonder because halibut, when they're born, they look more like a regular fish with their eyes on both sides. And then as they mature, they're, as they grow, it's as if they grow, the eyes come up on top of their head. So as they're mature, they now have eyes on top of their head and they stay on the bottom of the, down in the sand and such. And they blend in and it looks really cool. This side, sea stars and anemones, but they would love to get over there because that's food. I mean, they would love an abalone. Because so the we separate them. Because the sea stars are are a predator for that. Yes, very definitely. And we got a little shrimp guy down here. What kind spot of spot prawn? A spot prawn. And yeah, there's one right here too. Spot oh. prawn. There's three of them in there. I don't know where the third. One is. Rockfish are so cool. Oh, there's so many different kinds of rockfish that live throughout the world's oceans. I feel great awe for them. Rockfish can live a really long time, as in 50, 100, even close to 200 years. And that's really incredible to realize that longevity as well as how long it even maybe takes them to reproduce. And they live in sea mounts and like basically mountains in the oceans. And they have their home territory that's theirs. And they come in all sorts of different colors and some have more spikes, some have soft spikes. Speckles, spots, stripes. They all have their own personality, just like us. As on land, the sea has forests too. Forests of kelp sway in the sea's currents as sunlight beams into kelp forests. These ocean forests are alive with life and are food and shelter for many animals. Many creatures of the kelp forests are well camouflaged as they cling to the algae, lie flat on the sea forest floor, or hang seemingly motionless in the shadows of the kelp blades. The forest is a nursery for the young and an essential ocean ecosystem for many species of animals.
help forests abound with wonderments and fascinating beauty. As we journey through the fascinating world of the sea, we find so many wonders. The more we learn about the oceans, the more our deep interdependence with the ocean is revealed. Our daily lives are connected with the health and life within the ocean. Weather systems, ocean water temperatures, ocean acidification, and the amount of life in the oceans all affect our lives more than we often realize. The more we learn, the more we deeply appreciate and cherish the incredible oceans and all the really cool creatures who live in the sea. Immerse yourself in a forested rocky reef over sandy bottoms in the vast open sea. We're in the tunnel, surrounded by rockfish. We love rockfish. We love rockfish for their, for their personality. Yeah, not to eat them. No, no, I, I'm, I would never eat a rockfish, so. Rockfish can live like 50 to 100 years old. There's actually been ones off the deep sea mounts that have possibly been 200 years old. Yeah. So they're pretty incredible fish. Yeah, they're really beautiful and, and majestic. I just like looking at them. They all it, are so unique. I think it echoes in here too. Yes. Rockfish. Rockfish. This is one of those fish print things. Well, anyway, why I'm bringing this up is because this is like a, this is a halibut. And halibut are born like straight up and then their eyes end up on the top of their head. Isn't it cool this art represents that? That's a wonderment. Big fish need little fish. Okay, are you ready for this? This is a bit mind blowing because you're gonna to have to use complex concepts to understand this. When you were born, your brain was made of over 70% omega-3 long chain fatty acids, most of it coming from the ocean. Isn't that incredible? This is the high octane jet fuel that helped us develop our cerebral cortex. So that's the part of the brain that helps us to understand concepts like this. You know, to the sea. everything seems to come back to the sea. Pretty incredible. 70% of the oxygen of our breaths are in thanks to the sea. That's a wonder. That's something to be grateful for. The sea is so important. <sighs> Thank you, sea. I see, I see wonder in the sea. The oceans are the blue lungs of our incredible planet Earth. Two out of every three breaths are gifts from the world's oceans. The ocean is literally our life support system. That makes the ocean completely and absolutely essential to our life. In gratitude to the ocean, we have the breath to live our lives by. The more we learn how interconnected our land-based lives are with the ocean, the more we all realize our responsibilities to be stewards of the world's greatest wonders. Thanks to the sea, we have the opportunity to live, love, be happy, and celebrate wonderments.
Isn't it so miraculous that the same percentage of salt in the ocean is the same amount of percentage of salt that we have in our blood? It's incredible the synchronicity of how much we are truly connected to the ocean. There is so much to be thankful for for the sea. I see wonder. So we're in the shark tunnel in the, in the open ocean area of the Oregon Coast Aquarium. And I just walked right in. Yeah. I know that sounds funny, but there was a time not so long ago that I was afraid of sharks. Yeah, I even just afraid of like opening yeah. a, a photograph book of sharks. And now I just so admire them. Oh, here comes a ray. Wow. And they're not scary at all. They're actually I... exciting. I think the more you learn about an animal, the less you're gonna be scared of it. Now, respectful, respectful of it, yes, but afraid, no. Yeah, I have so, so much wonder for sharks now and appreciation for, for what they do to help the ocean and the habitat and their role they play. They are truly incredible. They're heroes of the ocean. Yeah. And now it's so exciting to be in their presence and I'm so much in awe of them. I just want to keep looking at them and learning about them. Incredible. Incredible. We have one going right, right over, over us our right head. now. It might come it's right so around. Yeah. If you can see it. There we go. <laughs> Sharks. Sharks. Awesome. Sharks. Awesome predators of the sea from I mean, they've been around since prehistoric times, yeah. and it's very important that we keep them in our ocean. Mega Loden Shark. A shark? I'm named after this shark.
Oregon Coast Aquarium is also home to charismatic seals, sea lions, sea otters, and birds of the West Coast. The stories of these individuals vary and involve details including injury, rehab, and reasons for calling this special place home. The Oregon Coast Aquarium is a leader in animal care along with ocean education and conservation. Meeting these wondrous animals inspires us to feel admiration and curiosity for all the incredible animals that depend upon the sea. The English language is not needed to understand the playful expressions of these sea lions and seals. Appreciation and awe fills us as we gaze through a window of wonder. As we immerse ourselves in the mystery and beauty of an oceanic life, wonderments abound. <laughs> Doesn't it look like the sea otters are having so much fun? Really pretty sweet habitat for being a rescue sea otter. As animals who suffered injuries and weren't able to be released again. This is a pretty special uh, place to get to call home. We're here in the aviary at the Oregon Coast Aquarium and each of the birds in here is, is native to the area. So basically Pacific coast? Yeah, the shoreline of the Pacific Ocean. And it's really special to have the opportunity. You hear them behind us? Those are common murs. It's really special to have the opportunity to get to be closer, closer to these amazing birds that, that call our shorelines home. Because so often you see them, you see them from afar, you see them like down, down off the rocks, or you see them coming in for a landing, and it's hard to ever see them this close. And these, these individuals have a beautiful home in this aviary and are amazing ambassadors to help people learn more about, about what they're seeing and to fall in love with these gregarious critters. They're so charismatic in their personalities. And we have some puffins with a crested puffin and the and name of the other? Uh, pigeon guillemots. Pigeon guillemots. And horned puffins. Horned puffin. That was the yes, other one. Yes, horned puffins. Horned puffin, crested puffin. And common murs. And uh, there's also a baby puffin. Uh, just, just what we were just looking at. And another really fascinating thing that I never I guess I knew that because of other birds, but um, the different plumage. And, yeah. and right now at this season, being in the uh, um, autumn, be beginning, you have the autumn, we're seeing the changes in the plumage. And it is fun to see the different stages of plumage that they go through, because so often we're out in the summertime and we just see that summertime plumage. It's like a, a whole new attire and wardrobe they have for the new season. That's fun to see. I, I guess being here in the aviary, I really feel a lot of awe. Like I just want to be quiet and listen to the sounds the birds yeah. are making. I feel great wonder being in their presence. The mysteries of the ocean inspire our dreams and urge us to never lose our sense of wonder. Next time you breathe in, thank the ocean. The ocean is a giver of our breath. The creatures of the ocean deserve our respect. They're simply amazing. 
It is the life within our oceans that make the ocean healthy. Our human land-based lives depend upon healthy oceans. A simple visit to the Oregon Coast Aquarium inspires joy, wonder, and gratitude. And isn't that what life is all about? Live, love, and appreciate life. The sea and all the wondrous creatures really do inspire us to be grateful appreciators and seers of wonder. Thank you for joining us with our adventure to the Oregon Coast Aquarium. We've had such a fun and wonderful day and we're glad you joined us. So if you like this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to Sea Tree Wonder channel, subscribe and hit the, the bell so you'll get notifications of upcoming episodes. So thank you for joining us and we're excited to share with you more wonder next week. Be sure to find wonder each and every day. There's lots to find wonder. There's lots to appreciate. Yeah. We've seen a lot today as we've peered into windows under the sea. Under the sea. Do 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 do. Under the sea. Do 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 do. So much to see. So under the sea. Under the sea. Yeah. <laughs>